If you're struggling to get views on YouTube, it doesn't mean that your content is bad. It might just mean that your channel isn't properly optimized. You gotta remember that over 100 million YouTube accounts are created every single year. And YouTube needs to verify all of those accounts to make sure they're not bots. So by you optimizing your YouTube channel, you're not only ranking higher in SEO, but you're also telling YouTube that you're not a bot. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the settings I have on all of my YouTube channels, which have earned me over $1.6 million. So go ahead and follow along pause it whenever you need and hopefully this helps. So first things first, what we want to do is go to our YouTube channel settings. And to get there, what we want to do is just open up YouTube and then click on the profile picture on the top right. When you do that, you will see the option of YouTube Studio. So go ahead and click on that. Once you do that, it's gonna take you here. And from here, you wanna go all the way to the bottom left and click on settings. And this is where it all starts. So for general, we're going to leave that there, okay? If you use pesos, whatever type of currency you use, you can you can change that here. I mean, that one's irrelevant. So since we're going to ignore this one, we're just going to go ahead and click on channel. First thing, country of residence and what should you change this to? I get this question all of the time. It doesn't matter where you're from. It doesn't matter where your country of residence is, okay? If you live in Morocco and you want to target an American audience, all you have to do is make American-based content. YouTube is going to know exactly who to recommend your videos to. So if you live in fucking China, and you post videos about Kim Kardashian, the majority of your viewers are going to be American. So don't worry. Again, you can put United States or you can put your real country of residence. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter. Now, the next thing we have is keywords. Keywords are important and a lot of people say it's not. There's a lot of gurus out here that say that keywords do not matter. Fuck you. <laughs> That's not true. They absolutely 100% do. If it didn't, YouTube wouldn't have this option. And also, if you're a small channel, you're barely starting off, you do not have the luxury to skip this step. You want to add everything you could possibly add to your videos in order to get it pushed. Use every tool that YouTube gives you. And the channel keywords is just one of them. So let's go ahead and say that I want to start a YouTube channel and do movie recaps. I'm not going to go to my keywords and start typing in Mr. Beast, Kai Sinat, Funny Moments, Shit like that, you don't do. You wanna be as specific as you possibly can, okay? Every single tag has to match what your niche is or what your content is about. So if I'm in the movie recaps, I wanna type in shit like movie recaps, movies, best movies, movie summary. Now, is there an easier way to get keywords for your YouTube channel? Yes, there's two different ways to do this. Number one, you can go on ChatGPT and be like, hey, I'm starting a YouTube channel in this niche. Give me some keywords for, for my channel. And that's it. Do I recommend that? No. The way I approach YouTube automation or just YouTube in general is to mimic my competitors. And one way to mimic your competitors is using vidIQ. Now, don't worry, I'm not plugging anything. You don't have to spend any money for this. This is free, the free version of vidIQ. You just need to download the, the Chrome extension. The link for vidIQ is gonna be down in the description. Again, this is free. Um, you don't need the paid version for this to, to see channel tags. So let's go ahead and open a new tab and I'm gonna search for movie recaps. Here's one of my competitors, DITI recap. I don't know if that's how you say it. But all I have to do is click on his video. You see that on the right side, the vidIQ extension shows me a bunch of information. Everything here is irrelevant, to be honest. <laughs> Besides these two options, there is channel tags and there is video tags. So not only can I see what tags he used in his channel, which the keywords that we're trying to figure out here, but it also shows me what tags he used for this video in specific. That's foreshadowing for when you're gonna post a video, you want to use similar tags as your competitors. But we'll talk about that later. For now, we have all of the tags that we need here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy all of these. Then I'm gonna go on ChatGPT and say, can you add a comma and a space to every single tag? Just literally copy paste what I'm showing you here. Um, and I'm gonna explain why in a second. So now I wait for ChatGPT to do that. So here it is, I'm gonna go ahead and copy this go back to my YouTube channel and just paste them. Now, the reason I had to use ChatGPT is because every single tag has to have a comma and a space. So if I'm gonna do dick and balls as one of my tags, <laughs> I want to add a comma and that's going to create the tag for me. So if I wanna add balls and dick now, um, <laughs> I have to add a comma and that makes its own tag, okay? It's not like Instagram where you have to add an actual hashtag and be like cock and balls that doesn't work because now there's this little annoying fucking icon here, right? You don't have to add that with YouTube. You just type it normally. You can even add spaces. All right. Um, point is you want to fill these up all the way. So I only have 278 characters out of 500. So something else I can do is just go back to YouTube, find another one of my competitors and take his channel tags, put them on mine. So you can go ahead and do that. 
So moving on, the next thing we're gonna do is go to advanced settings. Here, we wanna select on no, set this channel as not made for kids. So you wanna make sure that that is selected, okay? And there's multiple reasons for this. Now, the reason we wanna select on no is so we can get the best possible ads. If you go ahead and click yes, this content is made for kids, you're not gonna be recommended to a lot of adults. And what do adults have on, on YouTube? High RPMs, not only high RPMs, but it might not be the content you do. That's just one of the examples of why it's a terrible idea. Point is, you just wanna click on no, okay? That way it's recommended to absolutely everyone. And very quickly, I'm gonna scroll all the way down. You can see I don't have anything selected besides allowing people to clip my content. Everything else, I leave unchecked. Now, feature eligibility, in my opinion, is the most important setting, uh, at least when you're starting off. You wanna go ahead and verify every single thing here, okay? You can either verify with a phone number, you can verify with an ID, you can verify with your face, but you wanna go ahead and enable all of the features because this is going to guarantee, this is going to tell YouTube, hey bro, you have my ID, you have my phone number, you have my face, I'm a real human, you can recommend my content, okay? So you need to do this. Just select each one and follow the steps, okay? Moving on to the next setting, we have upload defaults. Here, I like to leave the title and the description blank. But if you're doing like personality or you're doing vlogs or you have something you want to link, might as well just link it here, right? So what this does is that every single time you post a video or you unlist a video, it's going to have that link already pre-done for you. So you don't have to be copy pasting it or writing the entire description again if it's going to be repeated or if it's going to be a link. I like to keep that shit blank. I don't really care. Now for visibility, I leave this on unlisted. And the reason for that is because... If I change this to public, every single time I drag and drop a video on YouTube to post, it's immediately gonna go public. And I like to take my time when I'm posting videos, so I always leave this on unlisted. For tags, I like to leave that blank. And the reason for that is because I like to approach every single video as something new. I don't wanna be reusing tags over and over. I like to try every combination I possibly can. So anyways, that's it with that. We're gonna move on to advanced settings. For advanced settings, you wanna leave the license as standard YouTube license. Don't ask any questions, just do it. <laughs> and for category, it just depends what niche you're in. So if you're gonna post history videos, you wanna switch this to education. If you're gonna post videos about car manufacturing, you're gonna switch this to cars and vehicles. Language and caption certifications, I always leave this blank, I never touch it. Comments are on, moderation is basic, and I have this option at the bottom checked. Now, if you're monetized, you're going to see this section that says ad categories. And very quickly, even if you're not monetized, you wanna watch this part. Because what you wanna do here is unblock all of the ones that are unblocked. By default, I believe gambling and alcohol ads are blocked. So you wanna go into sensitive categories, find them, and instead of saying block, it's going to say unblock. So click on that. Now, of course, we're doing that for RPM reasons. But if you genuinely don't want alcohol or gambling ads on your videos, you can leave them blocked. Besides unblocking that, I don't really do anything else on ad categories. Moving on to community moderation. Here I have everything blank. I don't know why <laughs> these guys are banned, but if you see yourself here, it's your fault, bro. You did something. <laughs> But all the way at the bottom, you wanna make sure that you check the box for block links. This is just going to prevent the majority of spam comments that you get in videos. Now here in blocked words, you're gonna do the same thing. It's kinda of like tags, right? And you're gonna to have to sit here and just add a bunch of random shit. I personally like to add clickbait, clickbait spelled in different ways, fake picture, misleading, report, report this channel, any comment that could be negative, I like to put on here. So obviously this is to prevent, you know, new viewers from coming into your video. Some people like to scroll through the comments while they watch the video. And if all of the comments are negative or, you know, warning people not to watch your video, that's an issue. So you wanna add all of the combinations you could think of. But in the description, I am going to add a Google Doc with all of the blocked words that I have on my main channel. This is one of my burner YouTube accounts, so I don't have all of the blocked words set here, but I'll go ahead and add it below. But anyways, after you do that, you just wanna to go to the bottom and click on save. And you're done. Those are the settings that I have across all of my YouTube channels. But we're not done. There's still one more thing we have to do. After you click on save, you want to go ahead and click on customization here on the left of your YouTube studio. This is where you can change your profile banner, your profile picture, your name, your handle, your description, all of that good stuff. I don't really care about that. It's up to you. However you want to customize it, go ahead. But what is important is the home tab up here. So you want to go ahead and click on that. Here you want to go ahead and click on this little switch and make sure the little white circle is pointed to the right. After that, you want to click Add Section, click For You, then click Add Section, and click on Popular Videos. Now you're going to see that these are stacked on top of each other. You want to go ahead and make sure that Videos is at the top, Popular Videos is second, and For You is third. Any other option here, it's completely up to you. You can add a playlist if you want. 
uh, but I leave all of my YouTube channels like this. After you do that, you want to go ahead and click publish. Now let me show you what this does. So when people go to my YouTube channel, the first thing they're going to see, the first line, is my most recent uploads. Under that, they're going to see my most popular videos, and then under that, they're going to see videos recommended specifically to them. This is the best strategy that I've found to keep people on your YouTube channel and binge watching your content. It's the way you set it up. You want to make sure it's easy to read for them. You know, you don't want to have like for you shorts, playlist, and then your most recent uploads all stacked up in a weird combination. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Like and subscribe. Now very quickly, if you want to do YouTube seriously and you want this to be your online business and this video genuinely helped you, I'm the owner of Views for Income, which is the fastest growing YouTube automation community in the world. And the reason for that is because of what I provide and what the results of my students are. So the first thing you get when you join my community is the blueprint step by step. And what this is, is just a very quick recap of how to launch a YouTube channel from scratch. And this just helps you understand the entire business model and the way to structure your channel. But the real videos are in the tutorial vault. And here, I show you absolutely everything. I've been doing YouTube automation since 2018. I've made over $1.6 million across all of my YouTube channels. And all of the information I've gathered since is in these videos. I teach you how to edit. I teach you how to uh, make thumbnails. I teach you how to use Photoshop, Premiere Pro, CapCut. I show you the best settings. I show you the best SEO tactics. Literally everything that you need in order to launch any YouTube channel is here. And as you can tell, there's a shit ton of videos. Not only that, you also get pre-made thumbnail PNGs for you. So if there's a thumbnail you want to make, but you don't want to do all the annoying PNGs, I'll do it for you. You also get a list of handpicked niches that I chose. So this isn't going to be a huge list of 5,000 niches. This is just the best 20 niches that you can start right now. You also get access to an entire extension I created, which shows you tags, helps you with SEO, and it writes an entire script in the click of a button. But that's not the best part. The best part, in my opinion, is that I go live two times every single week. And in these live calls, you can speak to me directly. You can ask me any questions, tell me to review your channels, and I'll do it. Again, this is two times every single week. Now, very quickly, just to show you some of the results of students, uh, I'm going to go to the wins tab and start with this first one by Kelvin Yang. Two days ago he made five thousand dollars in seven days he posted seven videos and with seven videos he made four thousand eight hundred and twenty two dollars we also have this member here who joined 37 days ago and he's already made five thousand nine hundred dollars there's also members like roman he has a family he works a job and he went from absolute zero to one thousand four hundred dollars and in the first six days of april he's already made over a thousand euros pounds i don't know what sign that is but <laughs> And we also have members like Willie, who in the last 90 days has made $10,296. And those were just some of the most recent results. If you're ready to start taking YouTube seriously, then you can go ahead and click the link in the description or in the pinned comment. And if you do end up joining, I'll talk to you in one of the live calls.